Okay, welcome back. Uh, in this video, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be scraping or removing this popcorn ceiling here. Um, now, this is a popcorn ceiling that has been painted over with an oil um, primer, and then it's been top coated probably two or two or three times. Um, so to remove it, well, there's a, a few different ways to uh, remove a popcorn ce ceiling, but this has been painted over, and it's been painted over with the oil, so we can't use the uh, the, uh, the uh, water method, where you take a pump sprayer and you spray it with that water, so the water will will uh, loosen up the bond. But since there's so many coats of paint, and especially there's an oil paint up there, it's um sealed in, in there so the water won't be able to uh, penetrate through so our, our our last resort is to uh, dry scrape it um, and this is a messy job so what you want to do is cover everything with plastic um, because there's going to be a bunch of dust and the dust is uh, going to get everywhere so it's very important to, uh, to uh, tape off any areas like I have done so here um, so what I'm going to be doing here is dry scraping here, and you can either dry scrape it down like I'm doing here, so 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 that it's flat. Um, or what you can do is like the method here. What I'm doing is I'm going to treat this like it's wallpaper, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to I'm going to gouge it in and try to get it loose there, and then to peel it off. And what it's going to do is it's going to peel off. The uh, top layer of, uh, of uh, the sheetrock, so that you get down to uh, to uh, this brown paper. Um, but this um, is going to save a lot of scraping. So the uh, tools for the job here is I have my four-inch blade right here and my uh, knife. And what my knife is for is for when I get into the corners here. So because there is tape here from when it was taped, and you just don't want to pull it because then it'll it'll tear off. The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, wall here because there is tape that is on the wall here. It starts here and it stops here. So what I want to do first is just make an incision right in the corner there. And I'll do it again. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on, uh, on uh, this area. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come out here just in case. Okay, so I'm going to put my mask on now. And, um, and I'm just going to start to uh, scrape here. And, I'm just, and I want to get it so that it starts to uh, peel back here. So I have it like that. And now I'm just going to slowly try to pull it on a 45 so that it tears off in a large strips like that. Um, so to get this area here, the paper starts here, so I'm going to start here, and I have it like that, and I'm going to slowly pull it. Now you don't want to pull this too hard, because if you pull it too hard, the paper will all break, and then, so, and it, and it just, all the popcorn fall, falls to the ground like that. So I'm going to work on this area here, and the paper starts here. I didn't get it that time. Now, since I took my knife and sliced it in a the corner there, when it pulls to the corner, it just should come off. puts more of the tension on the paper so it's so what a good idea is to bring your thumbs back up here 
and grab it and pull it. Now come back up. And as you can see, since, since, since I sliced it in the corner here, this is just all going to come up like that. So that is the tape here. And the, uh, the good thing about this technique is that we're getting down to a sound sur sur surface here. Because when you just dry scrape it, the corner of the blade will like gouge into the brown paper and it, uh, it'll like loosen it up and then you have to go back and like cut those areas out. Um, so I think that this method is a lot better because it's just gonna, It's going to remove a lot more of the popcorn in an easier fashion than it is to constantly keep scraping. Um, and when you get down to the brown paper here, you know that you're down to a sound surface. Okay, so, um, so I'm just going to con continue to uh, dry scrape it light, 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 like this. Um, it's not going to go fast. Um, and, uh, and once I'm done, I'm going to have to retape the, uh, the uh, corners again um, because they're, cause I, cause I removed the, uh, the uh, top half. So if you don't retape the corners, that's going to crack. Um, so after I get it all scraped down, uh, then what we're going to have to do is use a special type of primer, the uh, guards. And what the guard is going to do is it's going to uh, is it's going to lock in this torn drywall so that when we skim coat on top of it, um, the water in the joint compound won't cause this brown paper to uh, to uh, bubble up. So that's how you uh, that that's how I uh, I remove the uh, the uh, popcorn on a uh, on a painted over popcorn ceiling.